A very good hi and welcome to your reading. Um, this is a timeless and general love tarot reading, but I'm changing the format of the readings. This is now three card spread with clarifiers and um, oracles. So let's see what's going on for you in love, Virgo. The sun, moon and rising, Virgo. Thanks for stopping by. Coral tree tarot here. And let's see what's going on for oh, Virgo. In love. We've got Wheel of Fortune. So there is some humongous change that's happening for you. Ace of Pentacles, the lovers, and Ten of Swords. It's a general energy. Okay. This is a um, sort of end of waiting for something. Something has started in the past. Um... And I have a feeling that the waiting, there is some sort of waiting here. I don't know why I'm hearing waiting. Why is the Ten of Swords here? This is, this is over. We've got both Tens. We've got Ten here and Ten of Swords. And we have the Lovers in the position of the future. So um, I think if you have been waiting for your person to like formally... Um, ask you to marry them or formally could be anything um, ask you to move in together ask you to be in an exclusive relationship because the ace of pentacles in the position of the past so some sort of new beginning a very stable new beginning has kind of started this process has started and, and, and it was just it feels like was taking forever because now with the, the wheel of fortune you know the fate is on your side the, the wheel is turning for you now look what you've got in here in the future it's a fated relationship fated connection i need to figure out what the ten of swords is for me for some reason i'm waiting i'm hearing waiting the wait is over the ten of swords why is the ten of swords here There you go, you see, it took someone forever to come and um, express their feelings, um, ask you to move in, ask you to be in an exclusive relationship, etc. We have Knight of Cups clarifying um, this Ten of Swords. Someone just felt like this is never going to happen. You must have felt like this. Um, because this offer was like this this ace of pentacles is is in the past so there was some sort of conversation there was some sort of opportunity but it wasn't coming sort of like it wasn't progressing and now there is a change this beautiful will this person is finally coming along into your life expressing their feelings Again, apply to your situation. So, depending on the, on the, um, depending on where you are at in your relationship, Virgo, this is either whatever I mentioned. Let's make our relationship exclusive. This is that next phase, and look what's in the future. Um, remember, the lovers definitely talks about relationship, but the you know this there could be lessons there are always lessons uh, attached to to um significant love relationship because that's what we are meant to do we are meant to learn and grow here on earth uh, together gemini taurus aquarius scorpio leo beautiful but then, yeah, someone has felt like this is never going to happen. Okay, so if you're here inquiring about someone specific, this person is coming for you. That's for sure. That's why I'm hearing the wait is over. This is weird. Um, okay, I am going to pull some oracles. Short and sweet. I mean, there we go. I keep my feelings bottled up. Please don't. 
Okay, maybe that's why it's been taking forever. We all need time. Let's see one for Virgo. Heart pride, okay. For some of you, perhaps that person was... There was something between you two um, and your person felt hurt in the situation and they had to process it. It took forever to do it. Hurt pride. I think that's what it is. It's not easy, you know, if you have to apologize. <laughs> this is such a difficult thing for adults to do. It's weird. The Empress, what a gorgeous energy, Virgo. This is expansion, growth, um, fertility, sensuality. But Empress is an abundance, growth, expansion. So it really confirms that this will is turning for you at the moment. In your favor things are going to progress finally they have been like it's never gonna happen but it is it is happening it is happening now because this is in a position of present all right let's see what the astrology oracle has for you Virgo. this one and this one we have third house communication and comment unexpected um this is gemini as well the third house in a natal chart uh, governs communication. So I do believe that um, this somehow is related to this situation. There was difficulty in um, expressing uh, what they, what someone wants. Communication was probably not an easy aspect in this connection or with this particular person. Um, it says communication style. Thoughts, interests, communication, that was the issue. We've got Comet, unexpected. Well, I do believe that, you know, these two really speak to me like, yes, things are going to suddenly take off. You may have felt like this is never going to happen, the Ten of Swords, but it is. And that's why uh, we've got this Oracle, unexpected, because I feel like, you may have not really um, thought that this is ever going to happen. And yet, look, we are going to have progress here in this situation between you and this person, Virgo. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.